Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another session of Ask Zak with myself, Zak, and my trusted colleague, Renette. Hello, Hello. Renette. Hello, Zak. And, of course, it's that time of the year. It's silly season, um, and everybody's looking forward to some rest and relaxation. Summer and holidays. <laughs> exactly. But... Of course, our farmers, unfortunately, there is no rest for you because everything is starting to pick up now with parasites, all those type of things. It's a challenging time and that's why, why we're talking tonight about fly control on your herds. Now, Renette, why would you say is fly control so important when it comes to your herds when you, we're talking about our cattle, sheep and goats? Well, Zach... Flies are a carrier of, carrier of many diseases like um, E. coli in your calves and lambs. Um, it can be a fast spreader of that in your, inside your herd. Then things like lumpy skin disease and um, of course our eye infections at our cattle, at our um, feedlot cattle and our sheep. And normally that really is an irritation for the, for the animals because now with all those flies around their eyes, it's very difficult for them to go and eat um, for instance, and to get along to with um, a, a nice feed intake from them. And then what you then will see is definitely a drop in production, and that's what we don't want to have in our, in our um, farming businesses. So the best way is definitely to control those flies because it has negative impacts on the health of your animal and negative impacts on your feed intake and overall production of your herd. So yeah, basically, it costs you money, and that's the last place you want to be, whether you're treating with antibiotics for disease or lower production. You are at the losing end. So a main question most of the time is, how do we prevent flies? Now, it's, it's a difficult one, but let's start if you've got a, a, a little feed lot, or let's say a camp where your animals stay. Now, what I usually do, Last week we talked about this, the red top fly catcher that we hang close to those camps. The main reason we do it is we try to catch as many of the flies in it to prevent them from breeding. Remember, they're going to get together, breed, lay eggs and the cycle starts all over again. So the more flies you capture in that thing, the less time there is for them to breed and of course procreate and cause a massive influx of flies onto your animals, which is not uh, desirable as Renette said. Now another thing that we can use if you uh, round about your stalls, now uh, very important, this is a poison. Don't spray it on top of your animals, don't spray it in their uh, feed troughs or anything like that. You can spray something like the cypermethrin around about the areas where the flies are. Remember, it's a poison that's going to kill the flies. And uh, with all the rain that we're having uh, currently, we must make sure it's going to wash away. So you're going to have to do it regularly. And then you should be kind of on the right track. Um, we in uh, first step with a fly catcher, we intercept a few flies, now we're killing a few more flies, but now we need to look at what happens when the fly gets through to your animals. Now uh, then we can look at a product, uh, I'm just showing you one of the products, this is just an example, this is Redline. Now what's nice about Redline, it contains flumetrine. Now our, um, like our cypermethrin and flumetrine, if you listen closely, the names are, they almost end on the same thing. Now they're family of e uh, each other, and that's why they're so good for fly control. So you look, always look uh, for, uh, for a dip, either with flumetrine, deltametrine, or cipermetrine in it. Then you know you, you, you're going to control flies onto, on the animals. But all as, again, as I said earlier, with our spray, with the rain, you're going to have to repeat it regularly, it's the rain is going to affect it negatively. So watch out for these things and then you will be on the right track. Um, we cannot eliminate flies 100%, that's physically impossible. So uh, we can, all we can do is control them, get the levels low enough so it's manageable and not uh, a negative effect on your production. Now, Renette, of course, uh, our farmer's days, we've stopped with it um, for, the, uh, for the first of season. Um, but are you and the TAs, are you guys still available? What can the people do if they need more advice? Well, Zach, yes, we are all still available um, each and every day at our depot. So please, if you have any um, 
necessary things that you want to discuss with us, please phone us. We can go, go out to your farms and visit you, or you can come to the de depots, what's more um, gerieflijker for you, um, then or comfortable for you, then you can come um, to our depots, we can go through some things. If you struggle with something, we will be able to help you. And all our depots definitely has our contact details, so you can get it from them and make us a quick call, and then we will help you. And of course, all these products that I showed you so uh, quickly, they're available at all our Olsen one-stop shops. But from our, uh, for now, from our side, have a good evening. Renette, thank you for accompanying me tonight. Thank you, Zach. Enjoy your evening, guys, and thank you for listening. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.